Let's check yes. Okay. Okay. So we can expect a question from this. You may be asked to draw a labeled diagram. Draw a labeled diagram. And you will be asked to label some of these. Uh, it could be nasal cavity, it could be the lips, it could be the upper teeth and the lower teeth. Uh, the teeth ridge or the alveola, you may have to show or the heart palate or the villum, the tongue, the tip of the tongue or the front of the tongue or the back of the tongue, the oral cavity, the vocal cords. These few things you may be asked to, you may be asked to label. Just check. Huh. These few things normally you may be asked to label. So you have to draw a diagram like this and you have to give arrows or you have to write it like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This 9, 10 of these you have to remember. Number one, this it should be very clear. Vocal cords. Normally, you are not asked to draw. If you are asked to draw, you can draw it like this. Consonant chart, no one will ask you, except they will ask you the three term labels three term labels three term labels these are the three term labels you have taken a screenshot yesterday where is Ovishek now so whenever you write these symbols outside the vowel chart uh, the consonant chart you have to put them within these slant lines. Are the slant lines clear? Can you see them, Sunitra? Oh, Shek is returning. Sunitra, can you hear? Yes, sir. No, okay. So, you have to give the three term label of pa, maybe. So you have to write only these. Hello, sir. Am yeah. I hearable, sir? Yes, yes, you're on. Okay, sir. So you may be given any of these symbols and you may be asked to give the three term labels. So you have to write only these three words. Only these three words. Don't you don't need to write anything else. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Clear, sir. No. Yes, sir. Clear. Please take pen and paper. You can write with me. Now we'll discuss the vowels or the pure vowels or which is also known as monophthongs. M O N O P H T H O N G S. Yesterday we did the consonants. Now, whenever I talk of consonants or vowels in this class, I mean consonant sounds and vowel sounds. If I mention consonants means consonant sounds. If I mention vowels means I mean vowel sounds. 
Okay. I'll start the whiteboard. Now, vowel number one. I'm talking of the vowels now, the or the vowel sounds. Vowel sounds of RP. The first vowel sound. E. is pronounced as e is little long whenever you see these colon marks these colon marks are there whenever so the vowel is little long e as in the word deep Have you taken pen and paper? Have you taken? Yes, sir. Uh, Can we write, you, sir? Have you written this symbol? Please yes, sir. Show, written, sir. Please show me with the help of your uh, um, back camera. So there was a problem in my back camera, sir. Okay, you use the front camera also will do. Sunitra? Please show me what you have written. This is very important that you have to show me here now. Hello, Sunitra, can you hear me? Sunitra, can you hear me? Sunitra, can you hear me? Obishek? Yes, sir. Sir, how to open camera, sir? Front camera? Can you take, I can't the, find. Can you take the picture of this? So how to share this picture here? Just uh, okay. You don't take the picture. You just show me. You open a video, video. Okay, where sir? How to open? Video. Your video. Start your video. There is a video camera. Yes, I can see you. Good. Now you put the camera face towards this whatever you've written you turn the camera towards the writing yes uh, make take it take it closer closer take it closer uh, take it towards the right it's not very clear though anyway okay. anyway so sunitra sunrita Sunrita? So there was a problem with my camera, sir. That's why I told you, sir. Uh -huh. No, it's okay. It's okay now. Because here in this class, actually, if I can't see what you're writing, uh, so it's difficult. Okay. See, the vowel number one, E, little long. It is first. Write our first transcription. You will be asked to transcribe. You will be asked to transcribe a few words. Transcription. So when they will ask us to transcribe this word deep, 
How many letters are there in this word? Four letters, sir. Four letters. How many sounds are there? Three sounds. Three sounds. D, E, and P. So first we'll give a slant line. Then we'll write a D, E, and P. Deep. We are using this, these two slant lines on both sides so that it is not a word, it's a sound now. This is a word, there are no slant lines. So this is not D, this is D, E, and P. D, E, and P. Deep. Similarly, the second vowel sound I e, e E First one was E little long, this short E Dip. Let us transcribe how many letters? Three letters. And how many sounds? Three sounds. Three sounds. D, E, and P. Dip. Can you see there's a difference? Deep. There is a difference deep. of lengthiness of E. Length, yes. The length of the vowel is different. Yes, sir. Let us take another word. Sleep. Sleep. How many letters? Five. How many sounds? Four. Four sounds. S, L, L E, E, and P. P. Yes, sir. Sleep. Here, how many words are there? Four words, sir. Three sounds. Three sounds, yes. S, L, E, and P. Okay, sir. Slip. See, sleep, slip. Normally, we confuse. When we want to say sleep, we say slip. There's a difference. There's a difference. difference between sleep and sleep. Yeah. So there's a difference between deep vowel and, and deep. deep. Okay, sir. Understood. Yeah. This we have to keep in mind. Now, see, uh, in that, I'll just talk this for a moment. We'll come back to that. Uh, this one. Sir, this is DIP. This DIP means put. Uh, this DIP means sir, put something into liquid. Yeah. Or dip. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Like we dip our biscuits in a, into tea. Yes. Tea bags. Dip. 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 Uh, there is to be an ad. Yes, sir. We put uh, sugar and milk. Uh, there was an ad long back. Now see. These are minimal pairs. I don't know, Sundrita is not there or what? She is not responding. Okay, anyway. Someone else also rang up, but uh, I asked him to enter the class. He didn't. E and I. Beat, bit. Beat, bit, deed, did, lead, lit. Need. This is that verb with noun is lit. Lead, lit, neat, knit, peak, pick, win, win, heed, hid, seat, sit, been, bin. 
So these are known as minimal pairs. Minimal pairs. Means the difference is minimum. Sir, why this bird and boat here? Why? I'm just talking of these two now. Okay, okay sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Just talking of these two. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Others will come later. So minimal pairs, the difference is minimum. So you may be asked to give some minimal pairs. Maybe some examples will be given, one or two. Now you have to continue, you have to write five more. There could be another question. Sir, where are you from, sir? I am from University BT and Evening College. BT and, BT and Evening College? Yeah. Okay, sir. So, so these are minimal pairs, E and A. We have talked about here. Sir, you live in Kujbiar? Kujbiar, yes, yes. Where in Kujbiar, sir? I live in Rani Bagan. Rani Bagan, sir. I am also from Kujbiar, New Town. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. So we've taken the first vowel sound. Take a screenshot of this. Because I took a screenshot of this. So done, sir. Yeah. See, this E, suppose this is the inside of the mouth, okay? Suppose okay. this is the inside of the mouth. When the tongue is around this place, when the mouth is little closed, and here the mouth is open, the, all these vowels with the mouth open. Here, the sound is produced towards the front. Here sounds are produced towards the back and here the sounds are produced somewhere in the center, in the middle. The first sound we have done, E, is a front closed vowel with spread lips, lips are spread. Earlier, whenever they used to take photographs, they say, say cheese, you say cheese, say cheese. Yes, sir. Lips are spread. This is also front, nearly half close vowel. This is a long vowel, this is a short vowel. And the lips are neutral. Here the lips are neutral. So E, vowel number one, and vowel number two is E. Uh, can you take a screenshot of this one? Let me just make it a little smaller. You can go. I can't make it smaller. Yeah. Yes. Take a screenshot of this. So 1 to 12. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Done, sir. Mm -hmm. Then we have vowel number three. A. A. This is not E, this A, because this is within these slant lines, is A. Suppose uh, if I have feel, how shall we write? A slant line for E and L.
फिल्म फॉर ए आई एंड लॉ डोंट से आई इज ए ओके सर ये हियर इफ यू हैव फिल्म for how many letters in film four letters how many three. sounds three sounds three sounds for a and la see feel fill fill a e e a, a. See, e and a bit, 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 did, did, lit, lit, knit, knit, pick, pick, win, win, hit, head, sit, set, bin. Bin. See, do you know what is this with the capital B? B E N. Any idea? Sundrita, Obishek, Obishek. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Network problem, sir. Ah, uh, that's a problem. Anyway, so, wh what are we saying, sir? What are we saying? This bin B with a B capital. Sir, this means sir mountain, mountain peak. Bin is that uh, you know that big clock in London. Big bin, that big bin. Big bin. Yeah. So bin, bin. So these are minimal pairs of e and a. I've already given the PDF. Even if you don't take the screenshot, you can you know find out from the PDF. E and A. Vowel number four is A. See how we write this. Is it A and E combined, or you can write it like an X? so we have the fourth vowel vowel number 4 what you can do is either you can write like the one i shown earlier either you can write like this or you can write like this
Come to like an X. So A as in the word bag. Bob A and go. B, A, and G, bag. Let us go back to the minimal pairs. See, bed, 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 dead, dead, lead, lead, net, net, pick. Pack, big, bag, head, head, sit, set, bin, ban. So, b, a, and d, bat. B, a, and d, bat. D, a, and d, dad. L, a, and d, lad. N, A, and T, net. So these are minimal pairs. Similarly, vowel number five is A, short A. Back, buck, bat, butt, bed, bud, cat, cut, hat, hut, pack, puck, tan, tongue, ham, hum, fan, fun, ban, bun. So this is a ah, ah sound. So this is a minimal pair of A and A. Vowel number six is A. A. You see, these colon marks are there. These two dots are there. So this long. But, but, cut, cut, hut, heart, buck, bark, hum, harm. Bun, barn, tun. See how we pronounce T O N, tun. T O N is not ton, it's tun. Tun, tarn, hush, harsh, fuss, fast, luck, lark. See all these R's, all these R's. Before this R, there is a vowel sound, but after this R, there is a consonant sound. So there is a consonant sound after this R. So the R will not be pronounced. If it is preceded by a vowel sound and followed by a consonant sound or no sound, the R will not be pronounced. Bard, cart, heart, bark, harm, barn, tarn, harsh, fast, 
लॉक Just give me one minute. Uh, just resume. Just. Now the minimal pair between. A and O, O, Bot, Boat, Barn, Born, Cart, Coat, Farm, Foam, Park, Poke, Tarn, Torn. This O, O, see again it's long, this is also long. That length. That R, that R is removed from here, but the length is maintained. See how many you have done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have already done. Now. The eighth one, uh, this is actually uh, is not the eighth one, this is a uh, number which uh, we'll give you later on. Uh, board, bird, born, burn, coat, curt, form, firm, poke, perk, torn, turn. Now there's another one. Oh. Shut, shot, hot, hot, put, pot. See, let us go back to this. Huh. I hope you have taken the screenshot of this earlier. So, vowel number one is E, vowel number two is E. Word number three is a. Word number four is a. Word number five is a. Word six is a. Word seven is o. O. The lips come out little o. Eight o. Nine u. Ten u. Eleven u. Twelve. Uh, to describe these vowels, uh, you have already taken a screenshot of this one earlier. Uh, pure vowels or the monophones. See, the descriptions are given here. E front, close, unrounded, long vowels. Long vowel. We have I have also given the transcriptions here. And see, vowel number one, vowel number twelve. This has a name, Shua. This is the name, Shua. It is central, near half open. Neutral short vowel, and all the back vowels are rounded. So this one, if you study, you will get a lot of words. You get a lot of help here. Now, then we come to the yes. Any question up to this? Any question? Ovishek, Sundarita, any question? Okay. Then we have the diphthongs or the vowel glides. 
so far the tongue was in a fixed position in case of the pure vowels in case of diphthongs the the tongue moves the tongue moves from one place to another so the first diphthong we have got is a see the tongue moves from somewhere from this position to this position a as the word bay i as in the word by oi as in the word boy o as the word bow au as the word bow ia as the word beer e as the word bear ua as the word poor so we have got eight diphthongs and 12 vowels so how many sounds are there in rp we had 24 consonant sounds we had 12 pure vowels and we have got eight diphthongs so it comes to anyone can you hear me abhishek sundrita yes sir yeah so it comes to 44 sounds there are there are 44 sounds in english received pronunciation rp now one very important thing is you have to look at these minimal pairs there will be bound to be a question from minimal pairs one question i have said what you may have to draw a labeled diagram you have to draw the picture a cross section of the face and you have to label the uh, terms different organs you may have to you, you will have to uh, write a three term label of certain words you have to give the minimal pairs and then there will be transcriptions these few things are compulsory now in question number 1 there is another option you may have to you may be asked to define certain terms so what is a consonant what is a vowel consonants are during the production of these sounds there is an audible friction there is either a narrowing a stricture of close approximation or there is a total closure either in the oral or the nasal cavity the vowels during the production of these sounds there is no audible friction there is no narrowing no stricture of close approximation and there is no closure either in the oral or nasal cavity so you may have to define these you may have to give definition of voiced and voiceless sounds what are phonemes and allophones you may have to define what plosives are what affricates are what fricatives are what nasals are or approximants all these you may have to define there could be one question but preferably the question number 1 best is to label the diagram there's at least one or two marks per label like two marks per Labeling, correct labeling. We have two marks. 
So you can turn marks very easily out of the five label. Three term labels, as I said, is very easy. You have to just read them once. And once you understand, if you go, once you know the technique, you can very clearly uh, give the three term labels. Vowels, forget this chart. You remember these descriptions. Normally, you are not asked to describe the vowels. I have not seen questions on this, but you can keep them ready also. Minimal pairs, there will be a question. Some examples will be given, you have to continue the list, you have to write some more. So here I have given a lot of transcriptions. Lot of transcriptions are there. Lot of these are there. Now, this, there are a few rules. These rules you have to keep in mind. See, this B in the word thumb or in the word gum or climb or climber. In the combination MB combination, wherever this MB combination is there, the B is not pronounced. It's thumb, dumb, climb, climber, womb, tomb, limb, bomb, plum, plumbing, plumber. So the B is not pronounced. D in the sequence cluster DJ. D is not pronounced. Adjective, adjacent, adjutant, adjoin, adjudge. Q U in sequence cluster is is pronounced as curve, quarrel, quiet, quite, question. Queen, quarter, quill, quest, quit, quick, quirk, quin, coat, quiver. This we always already know. K in the sequence K N. K is not pronounced. No knowledge. Knife, etc. G in the word singer. If the root word is a vowel, is a verb, then G is not pronounced. It's pronounced as singer. Hang plus ear, hanger. Because the root word is a verb. But if the root word is an adjective, maybe or now, then if you add ear, we have to pronounce this ga stronger. Or the whole word finger. But here again, strength, ga is not pronounced. Now look at this also. Pluralization with the help of S or ES. If the last sound is voiceless sound, then S or ES is pronounced as S. Bats, this T is a voiceless sound, bats. If the last sound in a word is voiced, then S or ES is pronounced as Z. Bags. If the last sound in the word is either s, z, ch, j, sh, or z, then s or es is pronounced as is, buses, bushes, batches. 
past formation with the help of D or ED. If the last sound in the word is voiceless sound, then D or ED is pronounced as T. Bat, back. This K sound here. ED is added. Bat. If the last sound in the word is a voice sound, then D or ED is pronounced as a D. Bagged, bag. Last sound G is a voice sound. We add ED. Bagged. If the last sound in a word is either T or D, then D or ED is pronounced as ID. Batted. I will keep at that today. So tomorrow, what you do is, do you have old question papers? Do you have old question papers with you? Yes, sir. I have sir old question papers. Good. So from there, you look at the transcriptions. You transcribe the words. Transcription. Yeah, transcribe those words and um, send me a, a image to WhatsApp. To you can give in the group. You can give it to myself. Uh, yeah, better in the group so we can discuss. I can give the corrections if required. And you must have a dictionary. Um, yeah, the Oxford Advanced Learner's Dictionary. That is the best for practicing. All other dictionaries will not be helpful, but the dictionaries from Oxford will be useful. That you have to keep in mind. So make those transcriptions, show me, then I'll make the corrections and let you know next day. So tomorrow I will keep it off. Maybe I'll start on fourth again. Okay. Sundrita, can you hear me? Okay, sir. Sundrita, can you hear me? For some network issue, I am outside of my house, sir. No, no, but I can hear you. I can hear no problem. I'll give you the recording again. No, sir, I can't hear properly. Doesn't matter. Okay. You watch the YouTube thing, I will give you today. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Good night. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Good night, sir. We'll meet in the next class. Yeah.